Then life escape room, will she succeed? Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and I'm traveling full time in a seven by 10 cargo trailer. It's my mobile she shed I lovingly call Toad. Today I explore the deep dark secrets of my back seat, get some exercise and sunburns, crochet a couple crop tops, and then get all glamorous and go for a night out with my Aunt Debbie and Uncle Ray. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more travel and van life content. Good morning, my sweet, sweet friends. Oh, how are you today? How is life treating you? I mean, my old is water. I'm in beautiful Palm Springs this morning, hanging out with my family. Are my wrinkles gone yet? No, they're still there. Okay, cool. It helps a lot though. Oh, I shouldn't put a camera to my face the second I wake up. Okay, cool. I'll see you later then. Actually, I'll show you the door revealed. It's not that exciting. It's the same as every time I stay in Palm Springs. But who knows? Maybe there'll be a creature outside just waiting for us. <sighs> I'm sore. Oh, so sore. Almost two weeks of workouts and holy shnikes, my body. I can't feel my legs. Good morning, beautiful bush. How are you today? I mean, we got some pretty palm trees happening. We've got the spiky cactus of death. So that's fun. Ooh, look at that cactus. She happy this building. This is my Aunt Debbie's Sephora tree and it smells like a candy shop. Ooh, cute little birdie. Oh, it smells so good. There were tons of bumblebees up here earlier. Oh my gosh, it's delightful. I want Sephora trees in my yard someday. taken the last five days off of filming and all I've been doing is eating and hanging out with my family. Is that how I look? Cause that's how I feel. I was eating so healthy and working out every day and I swear I've gained 10 pounds in the last five days. I took five days off from filming dailies and I've gotten little clips here and there so I'm gonna share that with you today, but I can't even take my ring off because my fingers are so swollen because I've had so much sugar and crap food. Don't get me wrong. It was delightful. I had lots of fun, had such a good time with my family, but oh, it hurts, it hurts. So today's video has a bunch of random footage, but what I do know is I'm doing some cardio later because I am not feeling well. All my guts hurt. Like, do you guys ever get that? I think I would have been okay if I wasn't eating so healthy, but I was eating like the same things every day. And then all of a sudden like dessert every night, like my family knows how to eat and I love food and I love to eat and I had a great time. So I definitely fell off the um, fitness and health wagon for a good five days. And it's crazy how just five days can make me feel like I've lost all progress I've made in the last several months. I know that's not true, but I just, you know that feeling when you just feel like ass. I don't feel bad about eating food. I just physically, my hands are swollen. I'm bloated. You know, you get it. I'm just working on my sex appeal. I can't help it. So here's my last week in Palm Springs, hanging out with my family. Good morning. It's so calm and peaceful this morning. I just feel like crocheting, listening to the birds and the doves. There's doves in the distance. How dreamy is that? I'm not gonna lie, it's hard for me to just sit and allow myself to do nothing. It's a challenge for me, for sure. Cause as I'm sitting here, I'm like, I should be editing. It's supposed to get up to like 80 degrees later today. I'm curious to see, curious to see what it's gonna be like inside the trailer when it's really, really hot. I mean, it's gonna be really, really hot. I know that, but I'm gonna have to find a system. When it's cold, my system is to open the doors to let the sunshine in. I have a couple fans, or maybe that's just the time of the day that I don't spend in the trailer. And it'll just be a literal hot box when I get back. I came to Palm Springs because um, I was supposed to get a direct deposit, but I actually got a check in the mail instead. So I'm picking that up. And then tonight I'm going with my Aunt Debbie and Uncle Ray to see some live music. And my momager, my Aunt Debbie um, is like, that's a good place for you to connect with other musicians. We're doing Up the Ante tonight, so that'll be fun. If you haven't seen those last couple of vlogs, Up the Ante is the reality show that we want to start where my aunt is my momager and she helps me get my music heard by the masses. So Up the Ante is what it's called. But just making a little halt or tap like I do. Chorar. 
Hi friends, it's the next day. It's future Dana. Now, the sun is shining. I have no idea where my rollerblades are, but I am determined to find them and go rollerblading today. Sometimes I do my HIIT workouts on cardio days and sometimes I go out for a run or go out rollerblading or do something outside, go for like a really steep hike, like a stair climber kind of hike. Absolutely encourage you guys to move your body in ways that are fun for you and feel good. So I'm gonna at least rollerblade for a half hour and then do some lower body workouts. So it's supposed to be up to 80 degrees today. It's getting hot in the trailer. So I would rather be outside, get some sunshine, just put my sunscreen on. Gonna eat my bacon egg bites like I do. I love coming back to the same spots because there's this a parking lot that's not super busy that I like to go rollerblading at. I just put in my earbuds and go around in circles. It's really fun. Let's go. After I eat my bacon egg bites and find my rollerblades, then we'll go. Well, my rollerblades are not where I thought they were. So, um, I don't, I don't know. I do not want to do it. Okay, so I left Denver and just threw everything in here. Threw it in with no care whatsoever. I got out of Dodge in like an hour. I have no idea where my rollerblades could be. No clue. Did this just become an I'm cleaning out my Suburban instead of going rollerblading type of day? Janine did not send out the memo this morning that that's what type of day it's gonna be. Freaking Janine, get on your game, girl. No, they're right here, stop it. Are you kidding me? Dudes, I found my rollerblades. Within like five minutes looking. Mother. Come on, baby. You can do it, I believe in you. Happy day. Oh my good gravy. Oh my God, Jackery. Like do better. This is a brand new solar panel. I can't believe I found these so fast. Very exciting day in van life. Very exciting day when you can just find what you're looking for. I have a van life conundrum. I really wanna go rollerblading, but I also really need to charge my solar system. To go rollerblading, I have to lock up my van. Now, do I trust the kind people of Palm Springs to not steal anything out of my van? All my precious belongings, everything that I own is in here. Or do I lock it up and risk not having power later on? Van life escape room, will she succeed? Since I'm parked outside my aunt's house, just, I'm just verbal diarrhea right now. Sorry about it. Since I'm outside my aunt's house, I can go charge it in her place if I have to. And my skin is very pasty white. Let's go rollerblading. Yes, yes. Problem solved. I'm gonna go for a 15 minute loop. I'm gonna come back, drink some water, do another 15 loop. Yep, and that's, and that's my story. That's what we're gonna do. I was just, I was just putting my phone in my purse and I pulled this out. You don't even know about this yet. This happens later in the video. Oh my gosh. So much to look forward to. By the way, you're gonna go back to yesterday's Dana and she's a liar. The word of the day is incorrect. The actual word of the day is peen eye candle. It will make more sense later on in the day. I promise. You don't have to write that in the comments if you don't want to. I don't even remember what the word of the day is at the end of the video. Anyway, we're going now. Okay, I also have perfume in my purse. I'm trying to just empty out my purse right now so I don't have to carry all my gadgets and gizmos and rollerblading. No, I don't need three different forms of perfume. By the way, this is like my body perfume. And then these are all natural and they are my lady bits, lady perfume. I don't know why. I don't know why I share these things on the internet. I think it's funny. And then I think maybe someone else, if I think it's funny, someone else might think it's funny but then other people might not find it funny i don't know how to hashtag influencer i'm sorry i'm very bad at this okay let's go oh my god i haven't had this much fun in so long Seriously? Okay, not joking. I do my workout programs and they're great. And I'll do the half hour, but when I'm rollerblading, I can do it for like an hour, no problem. This is so fun. And the best shape I've ever gotten into in my life, I was literally just rollerblading every day. It gets the side booty pump in and gets the heart rate up and uh, it's great. Can you charge your car here? Um, if I had a cool char chargeable car, I yeah. probably would. No, the reason I don't know. Is Oh, it's right there. Is yeah, that I it? see those. those, are, those Is that are different? Super... Sorry, I wish I could be more help. Good, good luck, thanks. Do I look like a Tesla type of person? I guess I'll take that as a compliment. My homeless disguise is not working for me today. What was I saying? Oh, um, I love rollerblading because it's cardio mixed with like a lot of side booty movements. When you do it, do not push with your hips. Bend over at the waist a little bit and use your side booty. I'm just saying. If you do rollerblade or can rollerblade or learn how to rollerblade, once you get good 
good enough, it can be a, an excellent workout. So it's what I'm doing today. I'm very happy about it. it feels so good. It feels so good to move out in the sunshine. I'm listening to the Surfaces playlist on Spotify. Love Surfaces. There's a song that keeps coming up and it's like, I fell in love with the disco man and he told me he could da da da. I think it's called Disco Man or something like that. It's really good. Getting me in the mood. I haven't been working out at all. I've been trying to find a good place to set up the camera so I can get the shot. You are welcome. Water break. Feels so good. That feels like 0% exercise and 100% fun. Find yourself a workout that gives you that kind of vibe. My neighbors are staring at me, so we're just gonna go whisper over here for a second. Okay. Hello, old friends. It was gone 45 minutes, but I spent a good portion of that filming. So it's about a half hour. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. <laughs> It's 80 degrees out, so it's quite spicy, but actually with the doors open, there's a little draft coming through. I'm just gonna sit in here and write a song. I don't wanna change ya, but I might decorate ya. I just wanna make ya feel like a king. You don't need to guide me. I was just going through my voice memos and I wrote this song called Honeysuckle a long time ago. It's like, I'm sweet like the honeysuckle growing on the vine, but I've got a dirty mind, it's who I am. I'm strong as the willow, but I'm soft as summer breeze dancing through the leaves, it's who I am. So it's like, take it or leave it. I'm a lot of things. I'm like a Sour Patch Kid. I'm sweet and sour. Anyway, let's get back to the video that you were originally watching. Okay, bye. Good morning, friends. Oh my god, I feel like I went on a bender. I feel like I'm in college and I went on a binge drinking weekend or something. No, my family's just in town and we eat all the time. I do love me some charcuterie. All I've been doing is nonstop eating and my guts hurt. I feel like I've gained like five pounds. It's only been three days, but like, oh my God. I slept an extra two hours the last two nights. Oh, I feel like ass. I have to get back on my eating well and working out schedule very quickly here. <laughs> it's been great though. It's been really nice hanging out with the family. Um, however, I haven't been filming though, cause like when I'm hanging out with my family, I don't always want to have my camera out and they usually don't want to be on camera as well, so. I've been here for like a week and I've only filmed like a day or two of it, so. I also made the cutest new crop top, I'll show you. We got doves hoo hoo hooing. Now there's this place called Hemet. It's an hour and a half away and I'm debating whether I should go there because there are wildflower booms, blooms, bleh. There are wildflower blooms happening there. There might be some super blooms happening in California, so I'll probably stay in this area for a while. Go chase some flowers. Oh, how can just like three days of eating bad? I wasn't even eating bad, just eating a lot. And I've been eating really healthy, so my body's like, eh, excuse me? Why can't you just eat a lot of food and junk for three days to feel okay? Here's the new shirt. It's pretty cute. I like the back on this one. I like it a lot. What in the? Oh, we missed one. Gotta cut that guy. It's pretty cute. Oh my god, I'm so bloated. I got that family vacation bloat happening. and I can't feel cute right now. Okay, I'm gonna go coffee and then we can chat. Oh, I put this on backwards, that's why. Yeah, I put it on backwards. <laughs> Inside out. Hello, friends. Got a hot date with Aunt Debbie tonight. We're going to a party. I guess it's her friend's birthday party. I don't know, they throw some big parties or something. How many times can we say party in one paragraph? So I'm just curling my hair. I'm actually gonna wear heels tonight. I'm so excited. Uh, not excited to find them under my piano, but excited to wear them. We match. Oh, we yeah. both have black sequins. Oh, that's really black glitter. We didn't even play on this. Oh. I'm all pinked up and ready to party. I even got my matching shoes. I didn't bring 18 pairs of heels glamping with me. What are you talking about? Mission Pink Peni Cupcake Commence.
what that was, but you are very welcome. Mama Joy is on the hunt. <laughs> well, that was one glorious evening. Let me just tell you. Ooh, I'm chilled. And Debbie and Uncle Ray are so fun. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. If you made it this far, right? Hmm. Up the ante. No, we already did that one a couple weeks back. Right, Momager in the comments below. She's like trying to promote all my stuff, which is to me just funny. Anyway, are you guys staying on your goals? How are you doing with them? Are you keeping up with your workouts? Are you moving a little bit more each day? I'm sticking to my five days a week, even if it's just a shitty workout for five minutes. It's really, really hard in the beginning. I understand that, especially if you're trying to change your diet and start exercising. It's a whole, it's a lot. It's a lot for your body to adjust to. It's a lot to emotionally adjust to. A lot of times food is comfort. Food helps us um, cope. Like if I'm really depressed, I usually gain weight because food is my coping mechanism sometimes when I really can't handle uh, something. So be kind to yourself, be patient with yourself and just make little improvements every day. We want it to be a lifestyle. You don't want to lose weight quickly and then gain it all back plus some. So that's it for today's video. I'm so happy you got to go out and like be glamorous a little bit and dress up. I wasn't sure which bracelet to wear. So I just wore all of them. Had a good time. I can't believe we were matching too. It's so funny. I walked into the kitchen and Debbie and I had the same outfit on. Love me some Aunt Debbie and Uncle Ray. Love me some family time. I love that traveling allows me to see them whenever I want to. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.